us up at the second day. And then he says, the shocker of shockers, give me the third day. On the third day, we will see him face to face. We are 23 years into the third day. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Remember God's command to the church of Jesus Christ. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says the Lord. There are two groups of people here. One group of people being comforted and the other doing the comforting. The my people here are the Jewish people. Believe me, Jesus never called a Gentile his people because they never were until after the cross. Let that settle in for just a minute. The message of the cross is absolutely essential to every Gentile. But comfort from what? Why did he want Christians to comfort the Jewish people? Because the Crusades of the Middle Ages, ages that sent 100,000 Crusaders from Europe to Jerusalem. And on the way, those Crusaders murdered, they raped, they robbed the Jewish people going to Jerusalem. And while they were going back from Jerusalem to Europe, the Crusaders were nothing less than the army of the Roman Church. They were, they were forgiven of their sins by the Pope before they left Europe on their way to Jerusalem. Comforted from what? From 1,200 years of being murdered, robbed, and raped by someone carrying a cross and a spear in the other hand in the name of God. During the Spanish Inquisition, 32,000 Jews were executed. 150,000 were expelled from their homeland of a thousand years because the Jews would not denounce Judaism and embrace Catholicism. The Jews were given 14 days to leave Spain and their earthly possessions were sold and placed into the coffers of the Roman church. Comforted from the Holocaust of 6 million people who were systematically slaughtered. God's judgment is coming to every person or nation that abuses the Jewish people. It's called the judgment of the nations and it will happen when Christ returns to earth. Now let's quickly give you a snapshot picture of where we are. Let's say today, in the next five minutes, we are raptured from this earth. Suddenly, we're gone. The last breath here is your first breath there. You come before the Lord and present your life because this is the judgment seat of Christ to the righteous. What you did and didn't do in life will be evaluated. God will give you a crown commensurate to your accomplishments on earth. He will give you a dazzling white robe of righteousness because he has cleansed you from all sin. Then we'll begin a seven-year siesta, siesta, fiesta. <laughs> a seven-year fiesta, the marriage supper of the Lamb. It is going to be one joyous escapade. While on this earth, all the hell is breaking loose for the Antichrist who is killing people because he wants them to take their mark. And if you don't take his mark, he'll kill you. And if you do take his mark, you won't go to heaven. So it's a lot better if you get to know Jesus and you make the party. <laughs> <laughs>